So okay guys, uh, today I took the BMW 116D to the dealership for just a small uh, service. I'm going to change the oil, several filters and change the battery and the key as, uh, as the car is saying that the battery is dead. Well, and battery, uh, well, that actually gives us uh, a link to the next theme. I got a loaner from the BMW dealership, which is an electric Mini. So I've driven a Tesla Model S before and some Citroën Zero, blah, 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 uh, as an electric car. So this will be uh, the third electric car I'm driving in my, uh, my life. So, well, let's see what this experience actually is and how I like it. And of course, I'll keep you updated in this video. One thing I already noticed is when I'm just releasing the gas pedal that the car is slowing significantly, significantly to regenerate and reload the, the battery. So yeah, that's it for now. So, okay, let's give a short tour of the Mini Electric we're driving today. Don't know too much about this car. So I'll uh, just give you my first impressions on it. Obviously, the most noticeable difference from the outside is the electric logo here. And the green S here. And of course here you tend to charge it only electric. No idea how this works. Ah, obviously if you lock the car, you can't open it, which seems very logical to me. So here you can charge the car. Okay, here you have the cable of the car. You can see the car has a fairly small booth. But there's some room here below for all kinds of different uh, items and charging equipment. So that's the exterior. Then let's go into the car. Which very obviously looks like, still looks like a Mini. You have the elect or the digital display here. The gear lever. And here you can start stop the car. Let's start it up. You can see all the small details which are focused around the electric driving, the sounding, uh, and the green, yellow, greenish yellow items here you can see the bar so uh, what kind of screen do we have here here you can see uh, what kind of power you're using when driving it's like the torque uh, indicator on a regular car so you can see if it's charging when you're just rolling if it's ready or how many uh, power you use on the right hand side you can see uh, how much the car is charged In my case we're just around 35% um, I've been driven, the, driving this car for about 50 kilometers, so um, that doesn't make me an expert, it only gives me a small idea of what it's to drive this electric car. And I judge by the fact that I have almost 60 kilometers of range left, that when it's fully charged you probably make around 200 kilometers. So if you look here you can see the current consumption. I have to rectify, you saw here, if you look here, it's not uh, the current, but the average consumption. Here is the current consumption, which is zero. Here is the average speed, the kilometers run. And here you can see how uh, many uh, or what's left of the battery. In my case, it's just 33%. So if we go here, you have the set nav, many of the features uh, you'll see on a regular Mini. So it also shows here 
where you can charge the car or this is a petrol station I'm not sure if you can charge the car here also here you have different driving modes you can go to sport which obviously loses, uses a bit more of the energy you have like the middle uh, the what's usually the comfort mode then you have the green mode driving mode which uh, basically allows you to configure it here so you have a limiter on the speed and you can see if it's also affecting the uh, climate settings so it turns down the uh, air conditioning somewhat to save up on fuel you've been also been seeing this with the eco pro mode of the uh, combustion engine bmws and here you have the green plus mode the green plus mode makes everything uh, as efficient as possible and then as you can see here the climate control is switched off but for everyone who just noticed you saw that I had 56 kilometers left and it now has turned to 63 so it indeed uh, it saves you a bit of electricity or on the other way it gives you a bit more range well I'm not uh, very familiar with this car but let's see if there are any more specifics we can go through that are regarding the uh, electric version well of course um, yeah there, there are many many different options related to the electric thing so I can't go through them at the moment but just to point out here you'll have to uh, it's this one uh, here you can analyze your uh, driving style again we've seen this with the combustion engine BMWs already also the car status um, and here you have some charging plans so uh, why would you use a charging plan well uh, it would help you when uh, you can select how to load the car maybe at night when it's cheaper to load the car or for certain um, uh, for a certain time frame you can also here have have the air conditioning preset to cool the car or heat the car before you leave so this is just a short tour of the electric mini um, my uh, service on the bmw has already finished so i'll going back to pick up my own one series and if there are any questions on the electric car yeah I'll just give you my short resume for uh, what it's worth um, I think it's a fun it's fun car to drive but with a max range of 200 kilometers it wouldn't suit my needs um, at two days uh, I already have a 200 kilometers drive to the office and then you really need to have a, a charging facility available for you if they're not blocked by any other cars or are not working you're pretty much screwed so i would see the main field where you employ such a car as the mini electric in uh, the short distances if you're driving in a city uh, just doing many short uh, trips then it's a very or it's a it's an option i'm not saying it's i'm not going to say it's a very good option or a bad option then this car is an option but if you have to drive for a longer trips distances i don't see this uh, this car as being practical so here i am driving the mini so you can see the fuel consumption here and if i just put my or just leave the pedal then you can see it's negative the consumption because it's charging the car also you can see the range of 61 kilometers i'm in green plus mode now but you can just see if you go to green, to regular or to sport mode, that it just decreases your consumption. Also the other way around, it increases your, not your consumption, but uh, it increases your range. Uh, fun fact here is uh, when you talk about range anxiety, I have 33 kilometers left until the battery is empty well I need to drive another 11 to the BMW dealership so that's all fine 
uh, but if uh, when driving my one series 116d having just 30 or 40 kilometers left would drive me crazy but here in the electric car with well about 23 percent left i don't feel any comparable uh, anxiety so that's uh, well an interesting note uh, i'll take from driving this uh, electric mini so and that ends our mini electric experience